Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and in this video, I am doing a video of getting to know Mr. Joshy J. Yep, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the things I like and dislike, you know, what hobbies I like, and that I see recently that my good friend and UFC Racer has been doing some very similar videos, so I'm going to do that next. Oh, sorry, got a few crumbs on my beard gross but yeah so let's get into it so right my likes hobbies yep yeah, so i like watching movies you know like it's superhero movies comedy movies i do not like horror films i just do not deal well with horror films at all you know they make me want to just sometimes hide behind a sofa they're so gory to watch horror films, so that's why I'm not a fan of horror, film, horror films, but, you know, apologies for fluffing my lines there, but yeah, horror films just don't do it for me. But, you know, comedy films, yes, I love comedy films, like, you know, Home Alone, you know, etc. and all that. Some comedy films are, are good, you know. Scary Moon P2, that's good. Superhero films, my favourites are Spider-Man, X-Men, Avengers. Yep, yeah, all them good films. Yeah, so that really, that's the Moon P's category. But, you know, next we'll talk about my interests now. I'm really into trains, you know, like the big... Intercity 125 trains, what have now been replaced by these Japanese Hitachi Class 800 trains. The Class 43 HSCs have been going for about 40 years, and there is absolutely no way that the Class 800s will be built to last it that long. No chance. Because the Class 43 HST were built to last they really were and look at today some of them still going even today 45 years later unbelievable but not just trains in real life i like my model railway trains as you saw on this channel a couple of times i've actually done a few unboxing videos and unboxing my brand new model railway trains so yeah that's in trains I like. Buses, I quite like riding on buses, you know, like different sort of buses like Volvo buses, Dennis, yeah, and all that good stuff. I mean, since the pandemic, obviously, I've not been on buses too much because I felt the same for like driving my own car. So, yeah, it's better than going on public transport in the moment. But you know, once restrictions ease and that, you know, I will soon be, you know, going on public and trying to sort again, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, that's buses I like. Other things I like, you know, I like sports. I'm a massive Manchester United fan, as you can see that. As you, my old YouTube followers they know I've been supporting Manchester United for a long time but if any of you are new to the channel you know Manchester United are my number one team and I recently watched that the United Way documentary oh it was superb you gotta watch it you know it's absolutely fantastic the rated by Eric Cantona the Manchester United legend himself I mean of course, they spoke about the Munich air crash, which that was totally emotional to watch. But the rest of it is just beautiful, you know. And they showed where Eric Cantona did the Kung Fu kick to a Crystal Palace fan, and they played the commentary as well on it. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. But, yeah, I'm absolutely delighted to be supporting Manchester United, such a beautiful football club. They really are, with so much history. I'm so proud. I mean, I know I'm wearing an England shirt, but 
My love for England will never ever be the same as it is for Manchester United. They are just my beloved football team. The Red Devils, they really are. But F1, as you know, I'm a massive F1 fan. Well, my old subscribers will know that because on this channel I do Manchester United videos and F1 videos. So, yep. Got into sport really in the early 2000s. Them cars were my favourites, the F1 cars in the early 2000s. I just loved the design in them and epic sounding engines as well. The 3.0 litre V10s, oh, beautiful engines. They really were. So, yeah, that's that one. I'm into motor racing. Rugby, like to watch a bit of rugby. Cricket. Not really a cricket fan at all. Wrestling, WWE, I like to watch it, but it's been a bit bullshit recently. To me, it's going downhill, WWE. Yeah, it's almost predictable these days what's going to happen on WWE. It really is, you know. It's like, ah. Oh. So, AEW Wrestling, I started to watch this a little bit in that as well. I'm quite enjoying that AEW Wrestling Gaming, yep, I'm into gaming. The reason I got into gaming was because, you know, first of all, my stepdad had a PS1 and I suggested it to my grandparents, oh, I wanted one of those as a present. So they got me one and, yeah, that's how my gaming journey started, you know. I started off with PS1 and a few years later had a PS2 for Christmas, which I had happy memories of that. PS3, PS4, PS5, and the Xbox consoles. I owned the original Xbox. I owned an Xbox 360 Pro, the Elite, which I recently purchased another Elite, and I did an unboxing video on that. So if you haven't checked that out, do check that out. So I think you'll enjoy the video. I unboxed six games from it as well. So yeah, I mean. And Xbox and PlayStation, I mean, PlayStation will always be my favorite system because it's literally the console I started my gaming journey with. So PlayStation will always hold a special place, you know, in my heart because I started gaming with the PS1. Xbox games, I gotta admit, Xbox do some really good games and it's great how you can play PlayStation and Xbox because with the Xbox, you can play... Xbox exclusives, which is good. But yeah, I've wanted to do one of these videos for a while, but I just didn't get round to doing it. But since I saw my friend MUSC Racers doing a few of these, I thought it's about time I did it. So thanks very much, mate, for getting me into the mood for doing this. It's really good. So really, yeah, obviously driving my car, I like driving my car. I like walking, you know, going for a walk because I feel it clears your mind. Obviously, walking outside at the moment with a lot of people, you know, in busy areas, I do wear a face mask because obviously I don't like people getting too close to me. So, yeah, walking outside, wearing it. But when I've been vaccinated... When I have my second one, I have my first one, but when I have my second one, I'll no longer wear them outside. But inside shops, I still will be, even on July the 19th here in the UK. If they're no longer required, I will still be wearing them because I feel it's too soon to stop wearing them yet. Just in my personal opinion. I know the opinion of face masks. I know splits opinion, but that's just... My own, so yeah. Right, let's move on to the things I don't like. So I don't like horror films, you know, because they just make me feel I find them a bit cringy and scary. So yeah, I don't like them. Uh don't like smoking. I've always hated smoking. Tattoos absolutely cannot stand tattoos, you know. I would never ever Get one of them in a million years, and that is final. You know, no one will ever, ever convince me to get a tattoo. It's as simple as that. 
Yep, so, yep, tattoos. There's cigarettes. Oh, I hate the cigarettes. And, oh, one thing I can fucking stand is the smell of weed. Oh, that just makes me want to vomit, man. I hate it. Absolutely hate it, you know. Wow. It's dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. But, yep. Yeah. So, smoking, tattoos. And I don't like being in crowded spaces either, like parties or weddings and that. I just do not cope well with weddings. Seems like I could not go to a nightclub because I would hate the loud music. And I hate loud music at parties anyway. So I like listening to music myself, but to have it blurring away, no thank you. You know, it's like, oh, just I can't be asked with it man I really can't but yeah so yeah I have a like a lot of likes things I like doing hobbies I like yeah so I said I dislike parties and that and yeah I just do not like people getting close to me even before the pandemic I hated people getting close to me but yeah, I just wanted to give you a little insight to what I like and don't like. I mean, another reason why I don't like big crowds and not a fan of parties is because I have Asperger's Syndrome, which one of my subscribers, me, myself, and Asperger's, Rebecca, she has Asperger's. So, yeah, and there's just certain things I do not like. You know, I do not like parties and loud noises. And if I hear a fly or a wasp or a bumblebee, you know, buzzing near me, I can sense it before it comes. It's like, because I got sensitive hearing and Asperger's syndrome. They say people with Asperger's can sense things from a long way even before they come close to you. So that's a very interesting fact about Asperger's syndrome. You know, because... Uh, eye contact, you know, sometimes, you know, I sometimes, it takes me time to communicate with people who I don't know. So, yeah, you know, sometimes when I go like that, I look in different angles. It's because, you know, it's just, I believe that's what people on Asperger's do. But, you know, I got to say the support recently on my YouTube channels is like, Absolutely insane, you know, the few and figures, the comments you're putting down, I cannot thank you all enough, you know, and I love every single one of you guys. I mean, the comments, it's easy for me to reply to comments, but if you had loads and loads of comments, you know, it may take me time to get back to you, but I would still reply to every single one of them, because that's what I like to be, a very open, interactive channel. I like to welcome people along. So please do hit that subscribe button and let's start the journey. Let's get up to 500 subscribers because then I'll be halfway to a thousand. It's funny on YouTube and these days, you go through periods where you don't get any subscribers for ages, then all of a sudden you get some coming at a rate of knots. It's mad, the YouTube community. But that's why I love it. But we will keep going. This Mr. Joshy J channel, you know, is about you guys and your guys' opinions and that. So, yeah, let me know down below what you like and what you don't like. I just thought this would be a really good video because, as I said, I see a lot of people do this on YouTube recently. So, yeah. One more thing I like drinking is Largo, you know, like... Uh, Heineken, San Miguel, Peroni, yeah, as I've reviewed a couple lagers on my YouTube channel. Also, I like drinking cider as well, like Thatcher's cider, so yeah, that's a couple more things I like. But thanks very much for watching. Comment your thoughts down below, I will always reply. And join me tomorrow for my Formula 1 review to the Austrian Grand Prix. I'm still absolutely buzzing about England winning last night. Wow, unbelievable. Stayed at my parents' house last night. Filming at my parents' house. 
I actually filmed in my old bedroom last night, you know, big thanks to my sister for letting me film in my old bedroom, my England and Germany match with you, I appreciate that, bye-bye.